Wow. Hold on. Take a breather. Let me take a breather. Let me enjoy this moment. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome back to our channel. As most of you know, we've tried some of the most amazing northern Indian food. And our viewers and friends recommended us to try South Indian cuisine. And one of them recommended us to try this gem that is serving the most authentic South Indian cuisine. And it is called Dosa Corner. Dosas are known to be extremely healthy and one of the most ancient dishes. This is a family style restaurant serving a wide variety of South Indian food. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, so we just sat down and we ordered a variety of food. Um, this is such a cute little place. What a cute gem. Um, and of course, you guys know how much I love coffee, so I couldn't help but trying a South Indian um, coffee. They said that this is special here. Um, so it looks beautiful. <laughs> it smells delicious. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Wow, I was expecting it to be kind of bitter, but this is completely smooth, like creamy. Oh yes, that is delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, but first let me tell you everything that we got. Um, we got uh, so many dishes here, um, and pardon my pronunciation of these dishes here. This is the first time I'm having South Indian food, by the way. Oh wow, and the food just keeps coming. Vegetable Wow. Thank you. You guys can see all the foods already coming out. They are so quick at serving here. Um, so we're going to start off with the idli and vada. Okay, then we're going to go on to the kotu parata. <laughs> Sorry about my pronunciation. Um, the vegetable utampam. Uh, spring dosa, meat masala dosa. What else? We got tons of food coming. Chenad curries, Chetanad curries, Madras fish curry, chicken, birani, and a beautiful coffee. <laughs> so that is a lot of food for us to try to get through. Um, but I'm so excited to explore this other side of the Indian cuisine. Um, and again, I've never had South Indian food. And I'm going to start with the idli and vada. So here we have the idli and vada, and then you have some uh, sauces on the side that you can dip it into. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. Wow, this one's heavy, thick. Okay, I'm gonna go into the green yogurt sauce. Oh wow, yeah, that looks good. So again, guys, I've never had this before. I'm so looking forward to this experience. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, what is that? <laughs> I taste coconut. Mmm, that is good. That sauce too just adds a lot of flavor, of course. It's like a little bit spicy, minty, um, creamy. 
but this tastes like coconut. Delicious. I want to try dipping it into the other ones now. And it's, it's pretty dense, thick. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. That sauce is insanely good. Like, I need to know what's exactly in that because I will make that at home. <laughs> Beautiful. A little bit of spice, um, a lot of flavor, um, creamy, silky smooth. And then right here we have um, a lentil soup, which you can dip this into as well. Um, so yeah, so many different ways to use vegetables in the Indian cuisine. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. That soup, even on its own, is like insanely good, warm. Um, let's take a look further. Oh wow, we got more food coming. <laughs> goat wow, that's the goat one? Yeah, this is the goat chitinar. Nice, thank, thank you. you. Wow guys, we ordered a variety of foods and I cannot wait to try them all. Look at this beautiful presentation. <laughs> Amazing. And there's more. Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Nice. The, the smell, guys, that I'm like, <laughs> as each dish is coming, I just smell beautiful aromas of curries. Um, something that you're going to remember. <laughs> Amazing. So as you can see, the dishes are just pouring out of this kitchen and we haven't even got through the first dish. Um, I do want to try this beautiful lentil soup. Um, you can see the chilies in there. They cook straight from scratch. Um, a lot of flavors. Oh yeah, warm, comforting, lots of spices in there. Um, yeah, the feeling of this is just very warm. Um, you can taste like the cinnamon and all those lentils and that chili adds a lot of flavor actually. Delicious. Um, I want to try dipping this kind of look shaped like a donut. Uh, it is the vada. Let's rip it in half. Oh nice. Looking dense. There's some vegetables in there. I'm going to dip it into this amazing um, yogurt sauce over here. I'm going to put a good amount on there because that sauce was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, my gosh. So good. So flavorful. Crispy on the outside. Hot, gooey on the inside. And then you get some of those vegetables inside um, that are making this taste next level. Amazing. Mm. I like that crunch. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, we are going for a full-blown Southern Indian culinary experience. And I'm so excited. And here we have the vegetable Udapam. I'm probably saying it wrong, um, but there's a, a lot of vegetables in here, um, and then you get this uh, to dip it in the sauces. So I'm just gonna rip a little bit here. I love that in this cuisine you can just dip everything into sauces. I love that. Um, let's go for the green minty yogurt one. Mmm. Wow, the onions in there are cooked so well. It's like giving such an aroma. Oh, and the coriander leaves in there. Take it to the next level. I'm gonna dip it into this one. Really nice. Mmm, comforting. And I love that you get all your vegetables in there. Again, this cuisine, does vegetables in so many different ways with so many different flavors. Like it's honestly an honor to try all this food. It has so much history. It's like so much for me to intake. I feel like I need to get more experience in it, but it is amazing. And I'm so glad that we have discovered this type of cuisine. So good. So here we have the chicken biryani. 
<laughs> did I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments below. Um, but this rice looks amazing. Look how much flavor is on the outside. And the aroma of this Indian uh, rice is insane. It has beautiful big chunks of chicken. I mean, look at that. Um, it's paired with the yogurt sauce here behind this crunchy thing and some gravy. So let's go for it. Amazing. Oh yes, this is, look at that bite. It's got everything. It's got the chicken, it's got the rice. And the stuffing. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That rice is cooked to perfection. The flavors. Mmm. See, this is why I love this cuisine so much. The word is flavor. Everything is, and it's all has its own unique thing. This is not too spicy, but I'm gonna dwell a little bit about how great that rice was cooked. It's not hard. It's perfectly cooked to the right um, time. I wanna add some of that yogurt sauce on top. Um, this rice on its own, I wish I knew about it a long time ago. We are rice lovers. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of that on there and then um, the waiter was saying that you eat this and then you have a little bit of crunch on the side. Oh yeah, that yogurt sauce just adds so much. It has like the perfect amount of sourness and like lime um, and it kind of cools down a bit of the rice but this is a, like, this little thing has so much flavor. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go for it again. Oh yeah. Mm. I am coming back for this dish. The chicken biryani is insane. Oh my goodness. Now I kind of want to try this gravy on the side. <laughs> wow. Wow, nice and thick. Looks like there's some chicken in it, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. That is good too. That has a lot of like, there there definitely is chicken in there. That chicken there is very, very soft. Um, and then the spices are just calling out your name. Um, amazing dish. I'm definitely coming back for this one. <laughs> So guys, so far everything is like exceeding our expectations. Both Alfonso's are in love with all this food and the baby is loving the chicken biryani. He says it's better than regular rice. <laughs> right baby? Good boy. Yeah, he is in love <laughs> with that rice and so am I. We are coming back for more of this amazing food. But the most thing I'm excited about are these dosas, which they are known for. And it's such a staple in the Southern Indian cuisine. This one is called the spring dosa. So I'm gonna read it for you. It is stuffed with spicy coconut chutney, onions, tomato, cilantro, and potato masala. So exciting. And from what I read online, this is made of rice and sometimes they put lentils in it. Um, so very nutritious. You can get a lot of protein from these dishes um, and they'll keep you full for a long time. Let's cut it in half. Oh yeah, that's a good amount of filling in there. Wow, look at that. What a sight. What a good bite. <laughs> Again, very heavy. Um, is that potato? Yeah. So this is the potato, um, potato masala filling in there. And the color looks amazing. I'm gonna dip it in. So, oh, so far guys, this is, this is flavor town sauce here. I mean, on its own, it's already flavor town. Mmm. Wow. That was soft. That potato masala in there is amazing. And the tomatoes, they taste like very fresh. Like as I'm biting through it, I still have a little bit of crunch. 
um, which adds a lot of texture to the dish. As you can see, the inside is um, nice and mashed, but you're gonna get those crispy um, tomatoes and onions. Wow. The dosa is a staple in the South Indian cuisine, and I love it. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. For those that live in South India, you are so lucky. You can have this all day, every day. <laughs> Here we have the goat curry, which is called Chitinad curries. I know the pronunciation, guys. I know. <laughs> so this is a cooked goat in ground spices and herbs, and it's the most flavorful Chitinad specialty. Um, it has the bones in it, so you know there's going to be a lot of flavor in that goat. And as you can see, they cook with uh, red chilies. I love that. Um, let's get into it. And this is a different kind of naan. You can see that it's nice and soft. Um, so really cool that we can have the uh, soft one. You can have a little bit of crunch with this one. And of course, we have the yogurt sauce on the side that just bumps it up like to a level 20 with flavor. Um, let's go for it. So beautiful curry here. You can tell that it's been like just sauteing for so long to get all of those flavors. You have to be careful of the bones here. Okay, guys, let's go for it. Oh, wow. That is insanely soft. Wow, it just fell off the bone. Never had goat before incredibly flavorful i mean i mean this cuisine has they know what they're doing so skilled so much history they really perfected the spices how much you're supposed to put in it it just tastes like quality complete quality i want to try uh with a little bit of rice some of this and of course the yogurt that is just like a spoonful of curry flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Wow, the chefs, I, I dwell a lot about the rice because I do eat a lot of rice. I know when it's good and when it's not good. And these guys have it like perfected. Um, insanely good. The spice level is about a medium. So it's not bad at all. Let's not forget about this beautiful man. Oh my goodness, guys. We, I'm just having such a good time here discovering this amazing food. Let's get all that curry. I just love that. So much time and effort to make this beautiful food. Mmm. Mmm. The cinnamon is just beaming out of that one. Very warm. Wow, and shockingly surprised about how good goat is. Really good. <laughs> okay guys, so here we have the chicken kotu parata. Um, looking delicious. I mean, of course, I'm gonna say that word again. Flavor. Um, let's dive into this so you can see. Wow, it's actually pretty thick. So from what I saw on the... Um, menu here it's south indian style multi-layered flaky bread that's minced cooked in a grill with vegetables eggs and spices wow i never thought i'd be trying this in my life and i am so looking forward to it oh it's soft oh yeah oh wow Wow, that is good. I wasn't sure how like the chicken and the bread would flow, but it's so soft. Um, that bread just soaked up all of those juices. Um, the egg, of course, adds to it as well. Um, I want to try it with that sauce on the side here. This is like a gravy. Pretty sure there's chicken in there too. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. 
I never would have thought <laughs> that that would have tasted this good. And that is amazing. Um, this was recommended here um, by one of the waitresses and she said that everybody loves this dish. You have to try it. And I can tell why. It is full of flavor. It's heavy, but so incredibly soft. And even after you take a bite, it's like the flavors just keep coming, even though it's already done. Um, and that's what I've been experiencing with all of this food is that you just, you just keep tasting the uh, South Indian flavor and it's delicious. Amazing. So guys, I just wanted to explain what's happening with me with this experience of South Indian food. Um, I always thought that, you know, Indian food was like, you know, butter chicken, rice, and naan, and you know, that's pretty much Indian food. But no, <laughs> there is so much more to Indian food. It's unbelievable. I feel like we just are scratching the surface of uh, these amazing dishes and this beautiful culture of food. Um, so I'm just so impressed with all different styles and ways to have this amazing food. Um, and we're not finished yet. Right here we have a Madras fish curry. So this is fresh cut kingfish cooked in South Indian style onions, tomato based gravy. Um, and then of course you have the two types of bread. We have naan over here and then you have that crispy bread here. Um, the beautifully cooked rice and then you have the yogurt sauce that is just like next level. I want to try that curry on its own though. I want that full experience. Um, yeah, you can tell that this has been, oh, look at how generous the sizes of fish portion there are. Beautiful. Oh wow, and the smell is incredibly delicious. Tomato curry. Yes, <laughs> I'm excited. Mm. Wow, that fish is just like melting in my mouth. It's dissolving. Wow, that's insanely good. Because of the fish just falling apart. Um, you can see it's not overly cooked too because look, it's still in its size. Um, and then the flavors, look at the coriander leaf there. Wow, incredible dish. Okay, we're gonna try it with a little bit of rice and some yogurt sauce. Of course, just a top. Look at this bite. Come on, <laughs> that looks delicious. Mmm, mmm. That is melt in your mouth fish. Melting, incredibly light, okay? The curry itself is a very light dish. Has a little bit of sweetness in there. Um, probably that tomato. Um, I also do just wanna rip this naan and dip it in that beautiful curry. Oh yeah, wow. I didn't think it could get better. It, gets, it keeps getting better, <laughs> so good. So here we have the main dish of the evening. So you can see how big this dosa is. I mean, I'm, I've seen them get super big, but this is already enough. Um, it is a meat masala dosa cooked in special onion and tomato sauce, potatoes stuffed in dosa, and the kind of meat we got was lamb. It comes with the sauces on the side. And like I've been bragging about in this video, this sauce is like one of my favorites. I asked the uh, chef what's in it. It's just tomatoes, onions, garlic. <laughs> so simple. Um, of course you have that turmeric and, uh, and that love. But uh, simple food done right. Um, food that's grown from the earth, which I love. Okay, we're gonna cut through this huge dosa. And again, it is lamb inside. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that is, that is heavy. <laughs> wow, look at that. Beautiful. 
amazingly done. There's those coriander leaves that are just making this food taste so flavorful. I better just cut off a bite here before I pick it all up. Oh yes. Yes. Look at that. The dosa is nice and crispy on the outside. And we all know it's gonna be juicy. Juicy lamb. Mmm. 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 Wow. Hold on. Take a breather. Let me take a breather. Let me enjoy this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This is too much. Too much good food coming out of here. Wow. Guys. That was incredibly good. One of like the best things I've had. Mama. I think in my life. The baby wants more rice. That biryani rice. <laughs> it's so delicious. Let's talk about what just happened here. <laughs> that experience of this meat masala dosa was so next level. I mean, what I feel like is the cook and the flavors all put together, it's like a symphony. It's a symphony of Indian flavors. Everything is just perfect. Not too much of this, not too much of that. And the lamb is fall apart in your mouth soft. Um, I just wanted to sit there and just look out the window and just enjoy this moment. All of these dishes are so unique. They have their own different characters, but I can tell you that they are extremely flavorful. Um, and I feel so blessed and honored to get to try this amazing food, honestly. It, I'm almost speechless <laughs> because this is incredibly good. Again, I thought that uh, Indian food was just butter, chicken, and rice, and I am so honored and blessed that I got to experience this. Let's take another bite. Oh, yes. I'm gonna get more of that dosa uh, rice paper. To, I also, too, like how you can just pick everything up with this rice paper. And you eat with your hands, so, and I like doing that. <laughs> um, amazing, maybe I should try dipping it in my favorite sauce here. Just to add next level heat, baby. Oh yes. Mmm. 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 Wow. Like when I come back here, I don't even know what I'm gonna order because I like everything. <laughs> I want the dosa, I want the rice, the curries. Incredibly good and just shocking. So we have a ton of food to get through. Um, the Alfonso's have been already eating this amazing food. We're gonna finish it up and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful meal. Wow, guys, what an experience of South Indian food. And this little place is serving up the best, authentic, flavorful food. I feel like I just nourished my body with this beautiful culture. <laughs> so amazing, you have to check this place out, Dosa Corner. Like this video, subscribe so we can continue making great content for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing.